Friends, welcome to It Green Card Guys TV. I'm your host, John Ting. This past weekend, we got big news from a district court judge out of New York. And he, this is about DACA. He ruled in favor of the plaintiffs, which were DACA applicants against Chad Wolf, Active Secretary of Department of Homeland Security. Now, if you've been following our channel, you know already that there's been other lawsuits against Chad Wolf in stating that he was not lawfully acting as secretary of Department of Homeland Security. He was not a confirmed secretary. He's only acting. He was appointed essentially out of order. And it started with his predecessor, the person before him, and that was Kevin McLennan. The judge in New York ruled that even Cl Kevin McLennan and Chad Wolf were not authorized to do anything under Department of Homeland Security. But this lawsuit was specifically for DACA because in July 2020, just a few months ago, earlier this summer, the Supreme Court said that DACA was unlawfully rescinded. And so that's why in July 28, 2020, Acting Secretary Chad Wolf had issued out a memo, signed a memo stating that they were not accepting any new applications for DACA. Now, because he issued that memo as an acting secretary, that is the basis of this current lawsuit that was signed by the judge out of the Eastern District of New York. To give you a little background, Chad Wolf was appointed as acting secretary back in November 2019. We actually discussed this in a video earlier this year, and we'll put a link up to it right here. And the person before him was Kevin McLean, and he was leading Customs Border Protection before that he was appointed. Now, Chad Wolf was formally nominated for this position only like a couple months ago in August, but he, the Senate never actually took a vote on him, which I'm kind of surprised why. Even the Government Accountability Office of GAO found in August that Kevin McLean was not designated in the order of succession to replace the previous um, actual confirmed secretary, Christian Nielsen, and therefore could not have legally changed the order of the succession of the Department of Homeland Security, which is what he did to get Chad Wolf right underneath him. And because Chad Wolf, I believe, had a position with FEMA, he was not under any immigration agency within the Department of Homeland Security. So overall, this is a great day for immigration. This is a great day for DACA recipients, especially for those who want to apply for the first time ever. So if you believe you are eligible for DACA, then give us a call, schedule an appointment. We have the link right here. If you're not sure if you are eligible, we're happy to make sure if you are eligible or not. We wouldn't want you to pay for the government fee if you weren't actually eligible for it. Now, usually we as immigration attorneys will wait until USCIS website would update. But at this point, because of this current lawsuit, this current order, I would go ahead and file the application. There's always a possibility that the government can appeal this decision, but at that point, just because they appeal it doesn't mean there's gonna be a hearing on it anytime soon. Now, when I say that, that doesn't mean it could be this month. It doesn't mean it could be next month because the holidays are coming up and there's no urgency. And as everyone knows, there's a new president elect, Joe Biden, supposed to take office January 20th. But with that being said, there's so many things that the current administration, Trump administration is trying to do that this might be one of those that they just not even deal with anymore. Keep in mind, there are requirements to establish that you are eligible for DACA. And we'll have an episode about that and we'll link it to right here. But just to give you some background on DACA, this is a program created by President Obama uh, back in June 15, 2012. So you do have to show that you that you lived in the United States around that time. The other good news about this is that because the July 2020 memo stated that the new work permits under DACA was supposed to be going to change from two years to one year. So our assumption now is that it's just going to go back to the default two years. So that's something good to know. Uh, you know, other work permit authorizations are usually one year. So it's good that DACA will be back to two years. Now, I want to give you the quick rundown here. The judge from the Eastern District of New York had ruled that 
Acting Secretary Wolf in his ratification of his memo in July 2020 was in violation uh, because ultimately he, him being appointed as the Acting Secretary itself was in violation of the Homeland Security Act, specifically about how he was, how he jumped five to six other people to be the Acting Secretary because he was five or six people down the ladder of being appointed. Friends, if you're new to our channel, please hit subscribe so you can get the future notifications on our videos. Go ahead and hit the like button and please leave a comment. Let us know what you're thinking about this new order from uh, November 14th, just a couple days ago. It's still fresh, uh, but we understand that anyone that has not applied for DACA and are eligible for DACA should apply for it. Thank you for listening and until next time, please continue wearing your mask.